Hello and welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here my name is Millie and I love any makeup especially shiny shifty and sparkly eyeshadows and today we're going to be talking about some more holographic eyeshadows from the brand Glam Shop which is an indie brand from Poland and I have a video of previously swatching some eyeshadows that I got from them as well as a dedicated video to their previous five hollow eyeshadows but semi recently <laughs> they've added four more hollow eyeshadows and I'm just finally getting to doing a video so I'm going to be doing some swatches as well as showing you the previous five so you can kind of see them next to each other and I will also be creating three looks so here they are in all their glory this is actually a glam shop empty palette that I got last time I purchased which I love because it is a window and if you didn't know Z palette has a trademark in the US on the whole window aspect of it so I know that um, any brand within the US can't do it or they could but they might like end up getting sued over it so anyways uh, glam shop is safe from that over there in Europe so I have some marble eyeshadows on this side and then here are the hollows so the top five pans up here are the previous hollows and then the four down here are the additions so we have a purple and a blue and then kind of like a almost peachy neutral hollow and then a, another kind of more neutral neutral hollow it's the rose gold which is what I have on my eyelids right now so I do show you an application with just my finger and nothing underneath no tacky base these do not feel like glitter whatsoever they're completely smooth and a little bit on the thicker side so you definitely want to make sure you don't go in with too too much something I like to do especially with flaky eyeshadows but these as well is instead of picking up and rubbing in the center of the pan I like to kind of just take my finger and wipe it down down, and that way I just pick up just the right amount just a little bit and you go in a little by little because otherwise you are going to put on too much and it will accentuate skin texture but otherwise I really really love these I think these are super fun I do think they pack a bit more punch over some sort of a tacky base and I did use the glam shop uh, kind of glitter primer glitter glue if you will in this video and I do like it but of course you do not need to buy this one you can use whatever you prefer I do feel like the hollow effect is harder to capture on camera it's just they're much more obvious in person especially in natural lighting like if it's bright and sunny you can really see them well but especially the moment you hit direct sunlight they really really just take on a full-on hollow effect but you can see them without the direct sunlight but of course you need that brightness in there to really bring them out but they are so much more fun in person let me tell you I would definitely wear these if I was going outside somewhere like an outdoor kind of event so you can really appreciate let others appreciate and then also appreciate the effect yourself so let's get right into some swatches and then the three looks so these four are the most recent hollows which are in addition to these other five hollows that they previously had so here's all of them you've got a nice variation of like more colorful as well as nude hollows Here's Sweet Hollow, Rose Gold Hollow, Blue Hollow, Violet Hollow, Bayer Hollow, Effect Hollow, Zlote Hollow, Nude Hollow, Hollow Na Cieplo. I'm going to start off with the Blue Hollow priming with the Be Perfect Eye Primer. And I do like to set this one, especially with the Glam Shot Matte. We're just going to do like a one eyeshadow all over the lid kind of look. Going in with Atrament. And I will put up the names on the screen I'm trying my best to pronounce them since uh, Czech and Polish are both Slavic languages they're a little bit similar but definitely have their differences but I do feel like out of all the languages <laughs> this one is the easiest for me to try to read and this is blending so much better than an attacky base the Glam Shop mattes are extremely, extremely powdery and very, very thin, which I don't usually prefer, especially in those two palettes. I think it's like a violet palette and the camo palette. Those mattes in there are extremely, extremely powdery. So I'm going in with a fluffier blending brush that's clean. I'm just kind of blending out the edges even further. Next, I'm switching brushes so I can pack this on all over the lid. This is a very interesting color for sure. Okay, gonna go and just blend it out a little further up in the crease. 
and then bringing it across my lower lash line just connecting it with the outer corner I'm not going to bring it all the way just because I feel like that will close my eye up putting Nibis Glum just picking up the hollow on my finger and I'm just gonna put it on like that just swipe it on pat it and swipe pat and swipe these do tend to look like a little bit gray I think it's because just the nature of the hollow oh I love this definitely a kind of like a shade like all over the lid to be able to really appreciate what is happening there and you can see a little bit of the hollow but it really comes alive when there's like direct light hitting it for this i think i'm going to go in with sweet hollow it looks like it has some like orange throughout it so i'm going to play off of that so priming again with the be perfect primer going in with bergamotka right in the crease this is super pigmented as you can see <laughs> Well, wow, okay, it was like somehow not expecting that. And then just blending it out. Gonna wing this, clearly. Taking some Niespieti and putting that on the outer corner. Which is basically like a red. Oh, these are so powdery. So powdery. And I'm usually not the kind of person to mind, but I think this is a little extreme that red underneath my lower lash line as well and then taking Krem Bananovi underneath that this one does not want to really pick up and then on this side I'm actually going to go in with the Glam Shop primer which is basically like a NYX glitter glue or something similar I want to take it a little bit higher up I'm not trying to do a cut crease Again, going in with my finger and just tapping it and swiping. Oh, this one's so pretty. Definitely feel like it's a little bit more opaque on top of the glitter primer. Not as gray. This one's also a bit more silver. But it does look a little bit thicker on the lids. Put on the Kiss Lashes in the style Blessed on both eyes. I have Aquamarine from Beauty Creations in my waterline on this side and Screaming from LA Girl on this side. And my inner corner highlight is Sviace Dalco from Glam Shop. So here's what the blue hollow looks like with no direct light, just the ring lights. Here's what the sweet hollow looks like with no direct light. And here it is with direct light. All right, let's do one more look with the gold, rose gold hollow and some priming again with the Be Perfect primer. Lightly setting just the crease. This time I'm gonna go in with the Burnovich shadows for two reasons. One, I don't have any neutral shadows from Glam Shop. And two, honestly, the Glam Shop shadows are just so powdery, it makes me not wanna use them. And I'm not really somebody who cares about that kind of stuff, like the kick up, but it's just too much because then it gets sit it just sits there in the pan. And I don't really wanna like blow it up because that's technically wasting product. Not that I'm gonna finish those eyeshadows, but you know what I mean? Uh, it's just, it's a little bit inconvenient. Going in with a little bit of 89 from Burnovich as well. I'm just gonna be using that to deepen up the crease. I did wipe off my finger on this rag. And now there's light hollow sparkles all over, so that's great. And then going in with the 96 to deepen out the outer corner. And I'm just going to bring that under my lower lash line. And then going back in with 90. Next I'm taking the Glam Shop primer and I am going to be kind of cutting the crease with this for this look. Just dragging it out. I'm gonna tap out the outer corner. 
picking up Rose Gold Hollow and I'm just tapping it on. And then kind of swiping it and taking it on a brush to really get up in there into the crease better with some control. So here's the finished look with just a ring light. And then here it is with direct light. So let me know in the comments below which hollow is your favorite out of the new shades or the older shades. Are you planning on picking these up? Do you already have them? I would love to hear your thoughts on these. I think they're very, very fun. And I do really like that they have some more neutral shades. So they kind of like amp up a neutral look, uh, you know, with that hollow effect without being like wow in your face. So I think that's something that's really fun and special about them. And so that's everything for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe. There's so much any makeup content. I'm already on my channel and much more to come. You do not want to miss out. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.